Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Good afternoon, what's your name and where are you from? Justin Wozniak and I am from Chatsworth, New Jersey. Oh yeah, so why are you jumping today? Uh, I have no clue why I'm jumping today. We're gonna go to 13,000 feet. Anything you wanna say to your fans and TV man? Anything that I wanna say? Yeah. God help me. <laughs> See you in the sky, have some fun. What is going on everybody? I hope everybody is doing absolutely fantastically, wonderfully fantastic today. I gotta say that I'm doing pretty fantastic. I feel really, really good. I feel really excited about what we're gonna do today. Here is, I'm gonna just jump right into it. I'm not even gonna go ahead and talk and give my whole spiel. If you have, if you follow this channel, you know where my heart's at. You know what I'm trying to do here, okay? So we'll save that for another video. But what we're gonna do today is I was thinking earlier why haven't I done like a demo style painting? One of those paintings that I will do if I go to a school, you know, or if I go, I don't know, uh, like a festival or whatever. There's these paintings that I like to do. They're nice, quick, they're easy, they're fun. And they just bring the love right out, you know, right out of you, you know what I mean? They just, just, they just make you 
okay, I can't even explain what I'm trying to say here. I'm so excited, but I want to just get started is what I want to do. But here's the deal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's the real deal. I need you guys to stop right this second. I need you to go right down here, right around wherever it is, this side, that side. I need you to hit the like button, okay? You got to do that. If you like me, hit the like button. If you don't like me, I don't know what to say. You know, flip channels, whatever. If you hit the like button, it's going to send the video further out, okay? So it's very, very important to me. Here's what we got to do. We're going to jump over here to the canvas right now. I'm going to hold my palette up actually real quick and show you my handy dandy colors that I got whoo, running right across there. All of the colors are listed below. They are the colors that I use in every painting. And that's just how that rolls. Okay. All right. You ready to get started? You can either watch the video. You can watch it back. You can follow along now. This is going to be super easy. I can hear you guys right now. Shut the hell up. Shut up. Shut up and get started. I can hear it. I can hear it through the lens. You're telling me to shut my mouth and get started. And I'm going to listen to you right about now. Okay. So here we go. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Okay. All right. I'm going to start off with the old handy dandy two inch brush right here. I'm going to just throw us in a nice, basic, easy little sky. And to do that without dropping the brush, I'm going to go ahead right over here with my beautiful two inch brush. I'm going to just steal a little bit of our blue. Can you see it? Can you see? Oh yeah. You can see that. baby. Here we go. Just a little bit. Look at that. Smash it in. Don't be afraid of this stuff. Come on. Come on. Smash it. Boom. All right. You see? Whoa, that was a little too much. All right. Don't get carried away now. All right. See that? See, I'm pushing. That's important. Have a quick look. Here you go. Come on, baby cannon. Focus. Don't leave me hanging. See that? Nice, even distribution of paint. How many times have you heard that before? Okay, another deep breath. Here we go. We're going to start. I'm, I'm a lefty, so I'm going to start on the left side. I'm going to throw in a nice little easy little sky. Look at that. Boom. Do these little baby X's. Ah, oh, these are my favorite paintings to do right here. Can you tell I'm excited or no? Can you not tell? Am I boring? This is a boring painting, right? This is, I'm boring. I'm a boring person. I better stop talking. I'm going to get myself in trouble. Okay, now I did coat the canvas with some clear gel, and I mixed that with some white paint prior to the video's arrival. What are we doing here, Vic? Come on, come on, Herb. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit this with the paper towel right here. I just wanna get some of that paint off. All right, I'm gonna come right back up here and I'm gonna continue <clears throat> with my little axis. And I'm gonna bring this down probably, you know, about halfway or so, okay? Now remember, before anybody comments and says anything about, you know, oh, that's a Bob Ross painting, he's copying Bob Ross. Well, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, that man gave me a lot of inspiration. As a matter of fact, that man kept me from hanging myself again. Okay, so yes, so, you know, if anybody wants to say anything like that, absolutely, you're damn right. Bob Ross gave me lots of inspiration. I hope to God that he gives you some as well. So thank you, Bob. Here we go. X strokes. I'm in a weird mood tonight. I drank three Red Bulls. I'm just going to leave it at that. At least I'm happy, right? Could be worse. All right, so I'm going to go serious mode. Activate serious mode. Here we go. I'm going to just goose, <laughs> do those X's about halfway, you know, about halfway down. All right. And it's, you know, it's going to get nice and light as long as you use a little bit of pressure and kind of wipe it off on the paper towel like I was doing. All right, the combination of those two things are gonna help you get it nice and light when you get about halfway down. Okay, easy as that. Easy as that. Ain't nothing but a thing, right? See, hmm, shoom, shoom, shoom. All right, I'm not gonna go all the way down. Something like maybe right about there go back up to the top. Now I'm not going to come back. I'm not going to blend any of this stuff right here because I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to swat it back and forth. You see that? Nice and easy. Now, maybe we're going to have a little water in here. I don't know. I'm just going to clean my brush off down here. See? Right at the bottom. Just kind of clean it off. Thanks, Bob. I'm going to start saying that. I'm going to start saying that. When, I, when there's something that I learned or a technique that I learned I'm gonna, from him, I should say, Thanks, Bob. Thank you, Bob. 
something like that. All right. So look, I'm just gonna swat this back and forth and I'm gonna leave a little, just a tiny bit of a white area right there. That's sort of like a horizon line, okay? Super, super easy. And you see that right there? Don't worry about that. That's no big deal. We're gonna cover that right up. Now, if you want, let me set my paper towels down. I'm gonna grab my palette here real quick. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna take a little bit of our blue <clears throat> right here, a little bit of the blue, and I'm, I'm just gonna darken the corners here at the, of the, where the water is. Like I said, I don't know exactly. I, there's gonna be water. I just don't know exactly what I'm feeling yet. But when you darken the corners, it really helps. It helps kind of draw the eye in, okay? So just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, and there we go. There we have a basic little something. Basic little something. All righty. All right, here we go. I'm gonna grab me I'm gonna grab me a number three fan brush. Favorite fan brush on the planet, by far. Come right over here. Can you see that? Hello, hello. Good to see you. <laughs> I am so freaking weird. I'm really not weird. If you really wanna know why I act like this, I'm gonna just, just a quick intermission here real quick. Because I think about somebody watching this video right now Maybe you had a bad day. Maybe you tried to hurt yourself today. Maybe you looked at yourself in the mirror today and maybe you think you're worthless. Me being like this, happy, goofy, whatever, just maybe it'll bring a smile to your face or just make you laugh and say, man, this guy is, he's really weird, whatever. Just to clear that up, that's exactly why I act like I do because I was on the other side of the lens not that long ago. I was that guy. Okay, all right, look, number three fan brush. I got a lot of paint on here. A lot of paint. Doom, 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 doom. You see that right there? Now I'm just gonna pop in a few clap. This would be like a demonstration type of a thing. So I'm just gonna go up right up here. I'm gonna pick me a nice little spot and I'm gonna go like this. I'm just gonna start throwing some of this color in. Flipping the brush, see? Flip it, make big puffy little thingies. Maybe it goes up like, <clears throat> excuse me, like that. Losing my voice like this. <clears throat> All right, going back up here. Now, when I come up here with the fan brush, excuse me, coughing intermission. <clears throat> I hope that didn't hurt. <clears throat> I kind of wipe the brush off on a clean spot of the palette, and then I go back in and get some more paint, okay? Now I'm just gonna kind of fill in some of these little areas here. Like this is a big old cloud. A little bit more paint. I mean, there's a lot of paint, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it because that is just life. Clouds are everywhere. See, I'm just chewing it, choo -choo 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 -choo, little circles. I'm just kind of doing my thing, all right? Throwing them everywhere. This is just a demo. Okay, let's set that down. Let me try to do this real quick. I'm gonna try to take the two inch brush and I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna wipe this off real quick. I don't clean my brushes, by the way, until the paintings are done, all right? I'm gonna wipe this off. Now I do blend my clouds, okay? It's very important to blend your clouds. Here we go. I'm going to kind of like tease the bottom half of these guys here. Um, the goal, the game here is to try to, don't touch the top, just pretend it's a game, right? You're a winner if you don't touch the top. And if you do touch the top, you're still a winner, okay? Here we go. You just kind of distort the clouds a little bit. Now I have a lot of paint on here, but I'm gonna give them a good little lift like this. I'm not worried about the little string things just yet. I just wanna lift these bad boys up like this. <clears throat> now, come back to the paper towel. Give it a little, give it a little love. All right, and I'm gonna swat it back and forth. Now I got a ton of paint on here. So I have to pay a little extra attention to my strings coming up. That's why I keep wiping it and kind of swat down like this, swat down. Or if you want, you could just kind of come in here and blend it out softly like this, all right? If there's a will, there's a way. And if there's, if there's no will, there's still a way. Let me just blend this one little section out right here. All right, I'm gonna bring it right up in here to make it look like there's a 
a few little wispy floaters maybe. I don't know. See? Something like this. I'm gonna lift up here again. Now you can experiment with this stuff and kind of just do what works, you know, what works for you. I'm not gonna put too many clouds in because I want you to, to have fun. I want you to have fun with this, all right? All right, here we go. Paper towel, wipe my hands off. <clears throat> Excuse me again for the 10,000th time. Got us a nice little cloud going in here. Let's mix some color. Let's just take, uh, I'm gonna take Prussian blue, all right? A little bit of blue. I'm gonna take a little bit of black. Ooh, too much. A little bit of brown, okay? That was too much. Blue, black, brown, red. All right. A little bit more blue. Okay, I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna steal some white. Okay, just lighten it up a little bit. And you could kind of mess with it. See that? Nice, uh, makes a nice little grayed, you know, gray, blue, brown color. Something like that. How many people like how many people like this sound right here? All right, here we go. I'm going to get me a little roll and I think I'm going to come right right about here, something like that. Shoom, right up here, right into that cloud. Something like that. Come back down here. Get a little bit more of that, you know, little color in there. And a little bump there, maybe. And I'm going to make a nice, easy little mountain for you guys. And maybe this guy has a little, little ridge right there or something like that. All right. Let me just fix him up here. One more right, right there. You can change these things as well, see? All right. Do, 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 do. I'm going to scrape off some of this paint real quick. See that? Now I'm going to set the palette down. Wipe my knife off. <clears throat> now, I'm going to just probably, I'm going to grab a one inch. I'm going to grab a one inch brush. Now I scrape some of that paint off, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. I have something wrong with my throat, by the way. This is like, I'm not joking. It's a, something stuck in there. I'm going to pull this paint down. Remember, I scrape some of it off. Now, listen, you can really, you could really start off with a small mountain and you could really make this thing grow. So you got to be careful. See, I'm just touching and pulling. All right. And I like to come down here and I like to wipe off some of that paint. All right. Touch, pull. See, I'm pulling it softly, see? Pulling it right over like this, that. You know, I just don't want the whole canvas to turn into a mountain, which that's probably fine as well if you're practicing. Okay? But just take a second and, you know, pull some of this color out and just think about, you know, the shape of your mountain. All right, something like that. Now, give it a quick little wipe. And then I'm going to come in here softly and I'm just going to smooth this just a little bit before I start putting anything on it. Just nice and smooth. All right. Soften them little edges. All right. Something like that. Okay. Let's set the one inch down. Let's set the paper towels down. <clears throat> let's grab the old knife and let's do this. One of these numbers. Grab some white. Pull it out nice and nice and flat. Cut a little, little ridge right there and come right on up here. And we'll start right here. Drop a little bit of snow on there. Oh yeah. 
Now, once again, come down here. I wipe the knife off. I wipe the knife off. Say that five times fast. And grab me a fresh little pile. It's too much. Pull it flat a little bit. And then just come back in here and just start, you know, just start putting your snow. Nice, easy. I'm not using any pressure. Just repeating those steps here in case you were wondering. Just getting a little bit more snow on my knife. Come up here, the peak. Touch. See, touch, pull. Touch and pull. Okay. Now, if you get a big glob, it may give you trouble. Okay, let's see. Let's put some right here. All right, I'm just kind of randomly, you know, putting it in. Putting it in. Come here, put some down here maybe. All right, something like that for starters. Now, I got my little dirty pile. I'm gonna kind of move it right there. Come over here and grab some of this blue. All right, see that? You want just a nice shadow color. Nice light blue is good. Pull it out nice and flat. Maybe a little darker. Don't be afraid, get in there with that knife. See? A little less. Now I'm gonna come right over here. I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna, all right, I'm just picking up some more shadow color. I'll put some back here. Okay, touch there. You could hold the knife different ways. I hold it all kinds of different ways. Just pulling, just grabbing a little bit more. Now I'm gonna come right up here, and ride that edge. Fill in the blanks, folks. Fill in the blanks. Nice, easy pressure. Okay. And you see there's a little thing here. You just pull a shadow there. See, pull one here. Something like that. Get some more. Let's, let's go over to the top here. See, look, we have, look, we have a little bit there. Touch it, pull. Put some into there. Leave some of the dark is fine as well, because that looks good. Looks, it looks like uh, deep little shadows inside there, okay, see? All right, now, I'm gonna wipe my knife off and some of our base color. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of blue just to our base color, okay? Just kind of blues it up a little bit, but it's dark. I'm gonna steal a little bit of that all right, and for when it gets closer, I want to drop in a few little, little shadows, little detail areas here, just to kind of let you know that it's closer, okay? A little darker. Wipe the knife off, right back to the original shadow color, the blue. And I'm gonna skim right over that just a little bit, just to kind of dilute that uh, hair, okay. Now, wiping the knife off, I'm gonna go right back into some fresh, clean white. And I'm gonna come in here and just put a sparkler right about there. Get some more. It just kind of breaks up any straight lines that we got going on. See that? Get a little bit more. I'm gonna come right down the top here. Just like that. And keep doing this until you're happy with it, okay? That's all you that's all there is to it, really. Do it until you're happy. Okay, let's have a look. Looks like we can use a little bit over there. And these are the adjustments that you make. <clears throat> you make these adjustments right here. Put a little little spike right there. And maybe a little touch there. Just to make it uneven. See? You could do all kinds of stuff. You could have a little peak here, see? A little something there, a little snow setting right there. Come back with some little shadow, drop some shadow in here. See, you got a little ridge right there, see? All right, I don't wanna go too overboard with this. You get the point, right? Drop a shadow in there maybe. Something like that. <clears throat> okay. Wipe the knife off. And 
Okay, now I'm gonna grab the old two inch. Just give it a quick wiping and come up here and let's mystify this a little bit. Little soft tappings, okay? Little things happening here. All kinds of goodness. All right. Kind of diffuses the situation. And then do the same thing here. Just a couple of these, this'll do. Just a few little tappings, you know? All right, something like that. And I'm gonna lift it, lift it. This kind of really diffuses the back. It, it, it really makes this mountain look like it has some nice uh, depth softly, just like, you know, lifting the clouds. All right. Same thing, and you come down here if you want. You could steal a little bit of this dark. All right, steal a little bit of that, kind of just hair there. See, nothing to it. This could be little trees in the background or whatever, who knows, something like that. And then come back in here and swat at it. Just kind of soften the whole darn thing on the bottom here. Okay, there you go, there's that. Here's that. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, where you can explore new skills, you can deepen your existing passions, and you can literally get lost in creativity. I personally preferred the filmmaking class by Penny Lane. For an annual membership, Skillshare is literally less than $10 a month. But because I love you guys so much, for a very limited time, the first 1,000 people to click the link down in the description is going to get a free trial of Skillshare. So head down there right now, click that link, and go start to create. All right, all right, let's do, let's do this. Just to make it a little easier, I'm going to grab a one-inch, yeah, I'm going to grab me a one-inch brush right now. And because this is a demo, I'm going to go ahead and sort of put a little bit of a background in, okay? So for that, I'm going to take a little bit of this blue right here, okay? You see that? Tiny bit of blue. And I'm going to mix that in, a little bit of blue, with the base color that we used uh, for the mountain. Okay, it's a very dull color. All right. I'm going to tap that one-inch brush into there. All right, I'm actually gonna go right into a little bit into this too, into the light blue shadow color. I want this color super light. I'm gonna tap into there. I'm gonna come right up here. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do some of these. All right, little thingies in the background. All the way like this, see? All right, maybe I'll stamp them on the top like this. Maybe, there we go. A little distant somethings. All right. These are far. These are far in the background. All right. See, maybe they kind of grow uphill this way as well. All right. We probably didn't even have to go all the way off because we're going to have something in front. All right. So let me hold the palette. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to take this two-inch brush real quick. I'm just going to come up here, and I'm just going to tap on this a little bit on the bottom because that's going to kind of diffuse. What we have here, just a little bit softly. Something like that. Okay. All right. And if you want to get really technical, you can actually take this brush, your two inch, you could tap it into a little bit of white. See that right there? A little bit of white, and you can come up here and do this. All right, see that right there? Put some of this nice little a little bit of white in there, it'll just kind of help if you're going to be making layers. Okay, see that right there? Set the palette down real quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wipe that off. I'm just going to wipe my two inch off real quick. All right, and I'm just going to kind of soften this real quick, that little white that I just put in. Lift it up, lift it, lift. All right, and then just kind of hit it softly, just like clouds. Something like that. Okay, all right. Now, making sure that this thing isn't coming off on me, you know. 
feels like it wants to take off. All right, so to that color that we just used right there, I'm gonna to touch it with a little bit of green. A little bit of green. All right, mixed right in with that. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little bit of that going on right there. Tap into it. And then I'm gonna come in right here. I'm gonna come in right here, just a little bit of a darker color. See, I'm just putting in something right there. Tap back into that. I'm actually gonna come up a little higher like this, see? All right, I'm gonna add a little, maybe a little more green, touch of blue to that. A little, you know, darken it up a little bit. I'm gonna come right over here and just stamp in some of these. All right, something like that. All right. Just trying to show you layers here. Back to this guy, the two inch. Let's do this real quick. Just diffuse the bottom. All right. See? Helps make it look, you know, misty. Nice and misty. All right, you see how that looks? It's just misty. There's something going on there. We don't know what, but there's something. All right, go back and forth, something like that. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this uh, one inch that's all dirty with our colors in it. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it, I think. A little bit of white. And while I'm here, I'm gonna do one of these numbers here. I'm gonna start here maybe. Back here, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull down a little bit, okay? Just so this is there. Just something like this. All right. Okay, let me set that down real quick. Back to the two inch. I'm gonna give this just a soften real quick over top of that. All right, little indication. Little, there's a little indication of some background reflections right there, okay? Now let's grab the knife. Let's grab the knife and just get, you know, this is like some dirt on the palette. It's like a green, blue, gray color, which is probably fine. Let's get some of that. And before I go too far, I just wanna put in something back here. All right, just a little indication of a, you know, some kind of a water line back there before it gets too late. Okay, now set the knife down. Okay, now you're probably wondering about all this stuff here. This is where the fun part of the demo comes in. I'm gonna start making some trees, I love trees. Okay, so for that, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna grab a big amount because we're gonna use it. I'm gonna grab blue. What the heck, let's just put it right in our pile. Blue, black, ugh, green, let's try that. More green. Put some there. That's a nice dark pile. And I'm gonna move over here. It's a little lighter color. So we got a dark pile and we got a lighter pile. All right? All right. Let's see what we got. So I'm get, getting some on the fanny brush, the number three. And that's when I'm gonna come right over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna start and I'm gonna make a little line. See that little line right there? Oh yeah, you see it. And I'm going to do, for demonstration purposes, why, hello there. There she is. There she is. Let's drop a few more. And these are my favorite parts of the day right here. Okay. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Okay. Now, I did put a water line right there. You see that. Okay, we could put some land in if we want to get technical. You know, we could do that real quick, even after the fact. Let's just say forget the water line for a minute. All right, let's just do this. Let's just stamp in some land real quick. So I'm going to push up with the brush. Get some more paint on there, and I'm just going to do this. Even though we don't need to come over here because we got, we got more trees coming in. I'm just showing you just for the point of, of showing you. 
we got some trees coming in over there as well. All right, so now we can just go back to the two inch brush. All right, and I'm just gonna pull some of this down. Okay, water's gonna stop somewhere probably around there. Something like that. All right, come back in here, do one of these numbers. Put that bad boy back up there. Let's pick up our friend here and come right back up here and start over with the water line, see? All right, just to give you an idea, like you could redo that pretty quickly, okay? All right, back to the trees. Now, like I said, demonstration. We're thinking demonstration. So I'm gonna go a little bit into the darker color here. I'm gonna plant us uh, one of these guys here. A little bit of a bigger tree, right? Something like that. I'm just loading up some dark color. And let's come back up here and touch, leave a spot, touch, okay? I'm touching and I'm, I'm leaving some space in between here. See that? Reload a little bit, <clears throat> touch. And I'm just pushing upward. Pushing up, 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 up. All right, I'm gonna stop right about there until I figure out where we're going. I'm gonna add another tree, just some more dark color. Demonstration, everybody. This is a demo, I'm gonna go a little higher right here. This is for demonstration. I keep saying that. All right, and while I'm getting this paint on my brush, why don't you hit the like button? Because I would certainly appreciate that if you would go ahead and hit that like button. By hitting the like button, that will help keep my videos here on YouTube and not a paid platform. Everybody uh, is entitled to making a living. I just happen to be very passionate about seriously helping people. And uh, I ultimately think that may get me into a position, but you know, we'll cross that bridge when it comes. Okay, okay, so there we go. We got a couple there, okay? A couple there, and while we're at it, let's do this. I'm gonna take the fan brush real quick with some dark color, and I'm gonna start thinking about what am I doing as far as our land goes. So I want, I want a little piece of land to come out like this. So I'm just gonna tap, tap some of this color right here and it's going to come back this way. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Dark color. I'm just going to smash some color in. It's going to come right about there. Da -da -da -da. I'm going to pull some reflections. I'm going to pull some reflections down here. Something like that in a minute. And da -da 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 I'm just dropping some of this color in. All right. Put a few, you know, a few little bushes and things on this piece of land right here. All right. See, I'm just carelessly, I'm just smashing this color in. That's all that I'm doing. I got to get some more uh, blue, more black, and more green. Okay. Now, 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 now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to really, I want to make sure you can see the the front tree to the back tree, so I don't want to cover all that up. I'm just putting a little bit of darker color in here, here and there, see, like this, just smashing it in. Now, let's go to the other side, getting our dark color, blue, black, and green. And I'm going to drop in a few uh, trees over here as well, so let's do this, a few little pine trees. If anything, this will be a good pine tree exercise for you, see? Pushing up, pushing up. Load some more color onto there. See? And put a few little guys in here. I'm just touching and pushing. I'm not thinking about it. Touch, push, 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 push. And you call it a day. Now I gotta think about our land. Where does it go from here? So I'm thinking our land is gonna come. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's load up with some dark color. And I'm actually gonna drop in a tree right here. He kind of walks down the front like this. And I'm gonna, all right. And yes, he's mixing a little bit with the back and that's fine. I'm not worried about it. 
I'm not worried about it. Because he comes right. Something like that, right about there. All right, let's get some more color. Blue, black, green. All right, let's put maybe just one right here, just a little, little buddy. He's a little weak one, little weak tree. He don't have much going on. He's got a lot of bones showing. Okay. All righty, all righty. And then I'm going to come right over here. I just want to drop some color in. Now, it doesn't really matter about getting the color what you use to get it on. I'm using a knife, blue, black, green. I'm going to mix that up a little bit. Blue, black, and green. And I just want to get some of this color down with the knife. All right. Something like that. Now, I'm going to take this fan brush and I'm just going to kind of swirl that color around, stamp upwards, just kind of, you know, kind of mixing the color in right now at this point, see? I'm going to bring this in like this. Little bushes, see? Little bushies. Little big bushies. See, I'm just making these with the fan brush and they look they look ugly right now. Give me a few minutes and I'll show you. <laughs> so you can stamp it this way, whatever. Just get that color on there. Get it on there. Now, something that I see. Okay, we got some trees over here. Let me just put the dark color in. See, just put the dark because it's going to be darker there because we got a few pine trees there. Maybe this guy shows in the background just a little bit. Maybe his buddy there. I don't know. Just get the basic colors in, you know what I mean? Basic colors. Now, let's come up here, and I'm going to pull this down carefully. See that? Swipe it sideways. Okay. Now, let's do this. Wipe my knife off a little bit on the palette. Just get some lighter color. Now I'm going to show you something. As far as like a water line, we'll probably have to redo this water line. But look, you come in here and you just go like this. Okay. See that little water line right there? It kind of helps separate things. All right. And so will the highlights that we use. All right. I'm going to take, uh, I guess I'll throw a little bit of brown and some white, a little gray color. All right. Nice. Yeah. It's not super light, dark. It's like gray, green, brown. I just want to touch the knife on here. I want to try to put, I just, I do want to put little indications of, uh, you know, little thingies in here, little stumps or stumps and sticks and, you know, points and see those little sticks right there. We just grew a tree nicely. See, all right. Something like that. Oh, this guy has like a light bulb on the top. All right, look, just stamp it right, see, just touch it on the palette. And then you come over here and you could really just touch. It makes it super easy. See, I like sharpening my trees, the tops. See that? And then you can put little things back here. Little, little guys and whatnot. All of those things. All right, now, let me clear a spot here. Just clearing a spot off the palette, putting the uh, putting the dark color there. Let me do this real quickly. Okay. Now, now I reached over here because I'm getting a little bit of this liquid. I'm sorry, I don't want to say the full word because I may get sued. I don't know, I'm just kidding. Anyways, you've seen it here, got some of that. So let's start putting in some highlights, okay? Now, I'm gonna take a small amount, just a small amount, and I want to snag up some green and some yellow. I don't want a super bright color yet. Green, yellow, touch of ochre maybe, I don't know. See that there? Just because this is like super fun to do. 
Nice yellow green color. See that? Nice yellow green. Sun is coming from this way. So what I want to do is I want to come right over here and maybe establish, you know, where does our hill start? It comes over this way, maybe and it starts to drop down. All right, something like that. I'm going to keep going back in here. I'm going to smash some color, pull some more out, smash it in, smash, smash, smash. I want this to be open like this. All right, come in here. All right, you see this? I'm, I'm kind of making a downward thing. See, a little, little push there maybe. All right, you know, something like that. Let's get a little bit more green in there. A little bit more green, a little bit more ochre. All right, smash it away. See how that looks. Okay, here we go. So yeah, I want this to be coming downhill like this. A little nice hill. It's going to get darker as we go down here. See, darker, darker. Less, less brush strokes, less pushing down there. Okay. All right. Now let me give this a little wipe. Get some more. I'm going to pull a little bit more yellow out. A little bit more of our white stuff here. See. Smash it in. Something like that. I want a nice bright color to put right up in here. All right, keep going back. I'm just going to get some more of this nice bright color. I'm just beating my brush into there, see? I just want the light to know that it's shining this way. Tap away. Tap away. All right. All right, so technically, yes, I'm thinning this paint down, all right? It's being thinned down. Let's get some yellow ochre in here. I'm just kind of doing all the colors. Just leave some dark in here, see? All right, just making a little hill, all right? Now, let's go over here to the green, get some more of this stuff to thin it down green all right this is just a nice green color it's not going to be super see how hard i'm hitting this thing the palette's moving all right and then i want to come right over here because this kind of goes like this all right and just kind of step back and look at you know what you're doing just think about you know what you want the land to look like okay it's very important how the land looks. Okay. Nice little down slope there. There we go. Now, we can probably get a little bit of light color, maybe just a little bit, just to indicate maybe, you know, maybe a little light shines through there. I don't know. This is the stuff you got to play with. Just maybe a little bit comes through, see? You know, something like that, not much. Okay. Now, let me do this while I got this brush out right here. It's dirty. Normally, I'd like to wipe it off. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to get some of our yellow right here. Maybe put that right here. I don't know. This is, like, very fun and very fulfilling. I'm just going to pop in a little, you know, a little something right here. You know, something right like there. I don't know. And then I'm going to hit the inside with a little bit of the yellow ochre. Same thing, pulling it down like this, lift it up, flip her over and just give him a two tone look. And same there. And you could tie it in a little bit. You can tie a little of that color over here, maybe. You know, something like this, just so it's like uniform. All right, little bushes are growing out on the edge, and what the heck? Maybe there's one over here as well. I don't know. One that kind of stands out. All right, I want to take some yellow ochres and some green. I'm going way over on this, um, but I'm honestly, I, I like doing this. This is a lot of fun. It's mentally uh, freeing for me. I just like it. All right, I'm just putting a little of the color in there. Now I'm going to take some of this green. 
I said we were going to have to redo the water line. Now watch this. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to try to save the water line if we can, which we're not going to be able to. So put the water line in before you guys do this. Okay. Make a few of these meet. I'm just reversing in what I have up there to show a little reflection, hopefully. Now, I already put this bush in, so I gotta be careful. See, I'm gonna softly, just very, very carefully pull that down, and then very, very carefully pull that over. And then we can go right back to the knife. Okay, wipe it off. And we can get some of, you know, nice little whatever color. I'm just gonna get some dirt, whatever I have here. And then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna drop in you know, a little water line, okay? So you see that little reflection happening right there? Hopefully you can see that, yep. <laughs> okay, move this out of the way. Yeah, at this point, I don't even care. I'm going a little, I'm going over. It is what it is, I'm not worried about it. As long as you're having fun, there should be no limits on anything. Am I right? Am I right? All right, now I'm gonna take uh, just a little color here, a little green. I'm going to take a little black. Oh, my brown's running away. Move my brown out the way. Even though I'm not using brown, I'm still moving them out of the way. I'm going to use some black and some green. I just want a dark color here. Well, darker, a darker green color. So I got some yellow, green, and black. See that? Dark color. A little bit of this thin stuff. Okay, now I just want to see something. <clears throat> I'm going to pop in, I'm going to pop in a little bit of, tiny bit of highlight here. I really like these trees when they remain dark, okay? It just really makes the painting look better, in my opinion. Just getting some more of that on there. And maybe I'll pop in a few here as well. Nope. Just a few like this, see? If not, you'll ruin it if you put too much, so don't do that. Don't put too much. The dark, the dark really helps things stand out, okay? I'm really gonna wipe my brush off. I'm gonna just kinda wipe it off and I'm gonna go back here maybe. And this will get little subtle tease, little subtle details back there. Now we have our area here in the background. That grass that we put in, um, what am I doing? I'm gonna take some yellow. See that right there? I'm gonna take some yellow, there's some green in there. I'm gonna just use the fan brush, I'm gonna push down on that. You know, and I think what I'm gonna do is just kinda, you know, just whatever, just stamp in some color. I'm just gonna touch slowly, carefully. You know, something like this. Real careful, see? Looks like a little hill again. You know, just to give it something in the background. And if you want, you could touch into some straight yellow, you know, like a little, like a nice little highlight. And you can come back and, you know, you could put little yellow areas on here. Just to make the, you know, the sun or whatever, if there's sunlight shining here, it'll stand out. All right. Something like that, see? Just be careful with the fan brush. You don't want the little frowny, the little frowny faces, you know? Try not to get those if you don't want them. If you want them, then, then you're in business. So I'm gonna put some stuff here. You know, that goes all the way across. That runs just like that. All right? You know, and if you want, you could, you know, pop in some stuff back here. Maybe you could see through those trees. I don't know. Get some yellow ochre, getting out of hand now. Yellow ochre, touch it with a little red maybe, green. It's a nice dirt color here. And I'm just gonna put a little something here, little dots of something, I don't know what this is. Something showing right up to the water, see that? Right to the water. <laughs> just kind of shows. But you see the <clears throat> you see the little reflection there? I kind of like that. 
Now this, I don't know what I got going on here in the background, but this is awful dark. See how dark that is? So I got an idea. I'm gonna raise this. I'm gonna do these little taps, see this? Up and down, up and down. I'm gonna do little baby taps. I'm gonna turn this into a little row of uh, trees, okay? See that? Down, up, down, up, down, up. All right. You see what I mean right there? I just, hopefully I change that a little bit and come back here like this, get some color, some more yellow. Man, I got a dirt pile going here now. All right, throw some stuff in wherever. You know, you could do, you could really do all kinds of things. It's, it's amazing what you can do with all of this stuff. All right, let me grab the knife here real quick and just scratch in a few, you know, things. This always helps. You know, just a few things. You don't have to go overboard, you know, but I, I love doing this because you just really, it really works. You could scratch it. See, this could be grass. Something like that, see? You could put a little, see that? Grows right up there. There he is, he's a stick hanging out. You have some of the dark areas as well. This is a little branch. He has a little. I mean, I'm serious. You could really, really go to town with this stuff. Let me set that down and. All right, all right, all right. Well, hey. I think we're gonna call this a wrap. I hope you guys had an excellent time today, I really do. Don't forget to do me that favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the video if you already are not subscribed. And what else am I gonna say except for God bless you guys, I love all of you. I hope every one of you guys, I hope you guys are doing great and fantastic. I hope everybody's painting. I get a lot of messages, so I know a lot of you people are painting, which I so appreciate that all the different people in the world we all have one thing in common, and that is when we are hurting, we turn to this, and this, this helps us. I don't ever want to stop doing this. If I ever sound weird or sound like I'm talking a certain way about trying to get you to like a video or go here to go to channel memberships, which has been on the screen the entire time, the link has been down there. I just want you to know it's, it's because I want to do this. You know, I feel like this is what I maybe what I was called to do. I know it's what I was called to do to keep myself alive. And that's a, that's a sad fact at the least. Okay. That's what it's for. It's to keep me alive and maybe inspire you guys on, on the way. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the very next video. Take care. Have a great day. God bless each and every one of you. And always, always remember you're not alone.